I've got an antenna that I've had for a long time. It's the uh, Tram 14, Model 1499. It's just a little, about uh, 39 inches, about a meter long antenna. It's a helical wound uh, quarter wave antenna for 10 and 11 meters. So yeah, it's one of those uh, no radial antennas that uh, have a lot of hype. You get a lot of people that, um, I don't know, you're gonna see in the comments of this one, I'm sure it's dummy load, it's crap or whatever. This antenna started its life out as the Workman B100 antenna, and then kind of became the uh, Tram Browning 1499, and now the Tram 1499, and there's some other variants of it out there. Uh, the Serio Thunder 27, I believe, kind of the same antenna. But uh, the trick to this thing is having it with at least you know, with a long piece of coax, because the coax is def definitely the counterpoise of this thing with no radials on it. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to, I wanted to simulate this thing as if it was in an urban environment. So that's Norfolk, Virginia behind me. I'm up on a high-rise parking garage, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up as if I was on a uh, kind of like, like simulate like it was on a balcony. I've got a mask I'm going to stick it up on and kind of work with it like I'm up on a balcony. So I'll put this thing up in the air. I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to use. Get this thing up in the air, and we're going to see if the uh, the tram 1499 short little vertical if we can make some contacts on 10 meters. Stick around. Okay guys, here's a uh, new toy I have. There's the antenna. There is the Tram 1499. And uh, this is a Romanian military surplus antenna. Um, it's actually a VHF antenna, as you can see the small parts there. I'm gonna use this thing. The reason I bought it is to use it as a mast. So I've gotta put it up, put the uh, Tram 1499 up on this mast. So let me get it up and we'll, uh, I'll show you the configuration. Well, here we go. There's Norfolk, Virginia. There's my local neighborhood marina there. And uh, what I started out with, I've got a uh, flagpole holder under the front tire of my Jeep. Took a pool noodle and just kind of crammed it, sliced it and crammed it in there to hold the uh, Romanian Army surplus uh, mast up. And there you go, about five meters up is the uh, Tram 1499 with it I'm using 50 feet or a little over 17 meters of coax I've got it down and around I wrapped around the front of the Jeep and then back in so um, I'm gonna get in first thing we'll do is check SWR and then we'll get on and see if we can make some contacts on the 10 meter band okay first things first uh, this is uh, I'm running a little uh, sweep here with my antenna analyzer that also acts as a QRP rig. Um, I, I set it at uh, the middle of uh, 28400. That's the middle of the tech level USA 10 meter band. And it's at about 1.7, not perfect, but uh, we can uh, we can use it. So uh, that's uh, 10 meters. I'll go over now and check 11. And yeah, this thing is definitely uh, tuned and perfect for 11 meters. It's a uh, 1.1. But uh, we're going to get on the uh, 10 meter band now and see what we can do. Those of you that are thinking about this antenna as a as a CB base antenna or or what have you, uh, look at that. That's pretty good SWR. And we're going to be using my uh, Yezu FT891. So 100 watts tonight with this antenna. It is rated at 500 watts. How cool is that? Um, I do have a choke. This is the uh, Chameleon 50 foot uh, coax with a choke. Uh, down there is my 20 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. So uh, see if we can make some contacts here on the 10 meter band. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Kilo 4. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. QSL, QSL, you're 5757 five, into Virginia with good audio. Roll, 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 roll,
Thank you so much for the call. 73, my friend. Oscar, Oscar, I got you that 5x7 into Oklahoma, Oscar, Kilo. Uh, QSL, QSL, you are 5'7 into Norfolk, Virginia. The call is Kilo 4, O-G-O. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, QSL. QSL, QSL, thank you for taking the call. Thank you so much, 73. Okay, thank you for coming back. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Uh, kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, uh, Oscar. And how you doing there? Um, uh, hey, hey, kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, Roger. Roger, 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 Roger. You're 5'7", uh, 5'7", five, seven, five, seven into Norfolk, Virginia. Yes, sir, well, I'm going to 5'7", my friend. You're doing excellent. Got your 5'4", 5'5", in Puerto Rico. How's that with your world? Wonderful, man. Beautiful. How are you doing but as well? I'm out here with uh, the Yezu uh, FT891, 100 watts, and I've got a little uh, a little base station antenna up on a pole. I've got the Tram 1499. I'm on the top of a parking garage here in the harbor. Roger, roger. Well, uh, uh, you, you're 5-1, uh, but you're making the trip. You're making the trip here for the week, my friend. You've done an excellent job. It's a pleasure to hear you here on 10 meters. QSL, QSL, you're about a 5'7 as well. The name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango, and I am in the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia, near the Atlantic coast. Yeah, okay, very good, Walt. Are you on a boat or something like that? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm actually sitting in my Jeep uh, with a 100 watt, the uh, Yesu FT891, and uh, I've got a uh, mast out in front of it with a little tiny uh, Tram 1499 10, 11 meter band, basically, uh, base station antenna that I've just put up on the pole. So I'm kind of, kind of mobile, kind of portable. Yeah, okay, very good, Walt. Well, I put you in the longest mobile, so anyway, there you go. Well, you're sounding good here. Thanks a lot for the contact and for the support of the event. Okay, that was fun. Um, is this a super awesome? I got part of the uh, mass top off. Is this a super awesome go out and buy it right away antenna? No, probably not. It's a compromised antenna. Um, you're going to hear a lot of people, and you're probably going to look in the comments for people that didn't get this far in the video, and they're going to say it's a piece of junk, a dummy load, don't buy it, it's crap. Hey, I think I paid 30 bucks for this thing, and I'm an antenna nerd. I'm not trying to talk you into buying this thing. I just like to experiment with every antenna I can. I think this antenna has a place, and that place is an HOA, a patio. If you live, uh, I mean, I know I'm still near salt water, but I'm not like right down on it using it as a ground plane. But um, if you live in an area, a coastal sea town or something, and you know, beach cottage or whatever, and you want to get out and work 10 meters, I mean, this thing's not that big. It's easy, it's simple. I think it would actually fit in a suitcase, actually. Uh, like I said, I bought this thing a long time ago, and it's been sitting around. And I was like, you know, sooner or later, I'm going to try it out. I, my other, my main antenna block that way at my house is a, uh, here in an urban area, is a uh, in-fed vertical, no radial antenna. And that's because it's all I can have. This might be all you could get up. And uh, if this is all you can get up, it's worth 30 bucks. Hey, maybe you want to go out and operate portable with it. Maybe you have a boat, camper, RV or something. This probably would be a, an option for 10 meters instead of something big and elaborate or whatever and it's cheap it's a cheap antenna i enjoy playing with cheap antennas i like building my own and when i see something um i, I want to play with it and i've been waiting so long for 10 meters to just be open so i can do it if you're a cb guy get this thing up in the air it's a long piece of coax you might be surprised at uh you know some of the dx you can work on 11 meters because that that swr was so much better in 11 meters I tell you, this thing received well, um, and I may have gotten through had I been more patient, had more time, but Japan was just flooding in this afternoon, this evening. And I was getting Japan calls left and right, but the pileups were just there. I didn't have the patience and the time. I just kind of wanted to experiment and make some contacts, see if I could make some here in the States, if I could make some DX contacts, and, uh, and, and see how this thing would work. 
I like this antenna. I'm gonna play with it some more. I mean, for the price, this little bad boy, uh, you know, may the force be with you. It's like a lightsaber, but a cool little antenna. And um, yeah, it's not a dummy load. It is a compromise, an absolute compromise. But you know what? It's an in-fed vertical antenna that's using the coax as a counterpoise. That's all it is, and it, and it works. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you were thinking about getting one of these. Like I said, I'm not trying to talk you into it. Just wanted to give you my honest uh, opinion of it. I liked it. I enjoyed playing with it. Till next time, guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.